in conjunction with the release of her guest-edited issue of Country Life which took place earlier this week, a new portrait of the Duchess of Cornwall was made available for public consumption. The photograph was taken by Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, and was commissioned by Camilla herself. The Duchess invited Catherine to take a series of portraits in the gardens of Raymill, Camilla's Wiltshire retreat. Raymill has long been the Duchess's country home. She regularly spends weekends at the Grade 2 listed house with her children and grandchildren, and it is just a short drive from Highgrove, Charles's Gloucestershire retreat. The property was purchased after her divorce to her first husband, Andrew Parker Bowles. The cover image sees a relaxed and smiling Duchess of Cornwall, wearing a blue and white floral dress and cardigan, sitting on a bench with a truck filled with polygoniums ready to be planted. Another photograph, taken by Catherine, appears on the leader page and shows an informal shot of the Duchess of Cornwall walking through forget-me-nots at Raymill. In the photo, Camilla can be seen in a blue and white floral daisy dress. This collared dress with buttons down the front was paired with a baby blue cardigan. However, it wasn't Camilla's star that was the most striking thing about the photo. The Duchess stood surrounded by forget-me-nots, which have become known as Princess Diana's favourite flowers. Therefore, it seems to be an unusual choice of flowers for Camilla to have in her official birthday shots. Forget-me-nots have become a favourite way for Prince Harry and others in the royal family to honour Princess Diana. The statue of Princess Diana that was unveiled last year by Prince William and Harry was surrounded by forget-me-nots. One of Diana's gardeners told the Telegraph about what it was like to work around the princess. Graham Dillimore, who was a head gardener at the palace from 1984 to 1992, said she never confessed to being a fantastic gardener, but there were certain colours she liked in the garden, soft pinks, whites, yellows, pastel shades. She used to turn her nose up if ever I put red or deep purple flowers. Diana's younger brother, Charles Earl Spencer, previously outlined Diana's love for the flower. Earl Spencer, Princess Diana's brother, gave some forget-me-nots to her when they were younger. Head gardener Sean Harkin told Vogue in 2017. They stayed with her as one of her favourite flowers, so it was important to include them. In 2016, Earl Spencer told People that he gave Diana a white pot of blue forget-me-nots when he was six, and it was a lasting memory for him. There was even a plaque on Princess Diana's monument that shows her decorated with roses and forget-me-nots. Kensington Palace Gardens are now planted with similar flowers as well. The rose is a common symbol for all of England, but the forget-me-nots seem to symbolise the late Princess of Wales. Harry apparently did not know about Diana's fondness for the flower until 2016. In May 2016 he said, Incidentally, I found out today that forget-me-nots were my mother's favourite flower growing up. So that's a very nice thing for me, anyway.